What's up, Kirena? Pokemon Master AI Ken is here, and in this gameplay, I am going to feature my all time best team, which helped me to push the rank in the Ultra League. Now, let's jump to the battle. The team is Swampert, Wellran, and Grinkina. The whole water type Pokemon Swampert is running Hydro Cannon plus Earthquake, Wellran is running Ice Skull Spore plus Earthquake, and Grinkina is running Dragon Claw with Ancient Power. Many people say, please use Shadow Snake in the place of Ancient Power. I am using that but I am after that I am getting a Pokemon like Talon Flame and Charizard and when I start using Ancient Favor I am getting a Pokemon like Perselia so whichever attack is there is no you never going to get a Pokemon which you go for the super effective attack. Now let's jump to the battle. Now here there we are not going to block that charge attack we save that charge save one seek and after that we swap to the Valorant. Uh, now Valran is collecting energy but uh, Empoleon able to reach to charge attack again and it's a grill pick not going to give that much amount of that damage and after that we see a swap and Valran is going for the Iskal Sphere. I didn't able to see which Pokemon he swapped. It's a Alohan Ninetenths and it is my fault that I go for the Iskal Sphere and now I am going for the Earthquake and it's a quick after that we swap to the Grinkina because Grinkina has an ancient power and ancient power will going to give a, a super effective damage we going to farm down the Alohan items but after that we realize that we didn't able to farm down that's why we forced to throw a dragon claw and let's see which is his third pokemon and his third pokemon is Kevin. now you may see that i am in the travel i am weak against both of my pokemon but we able to pull this game. You have to please wait and watch this gameplay. Now Grinkina again able to reach for the Dragon Claw and again going there is no sig and now Kravnik probably going to throw a Sajo Ball to KO him. And it is in fact a Sajo Ball after the Valorant time and Valorant will going to farm down fully to the Kravnik and uh, it is we are lucky that he didn't able to reach. And one HP Valorant able to reach to Earthquake and it's a green it is enough to clear the Empoleon good game. Now hope to the next battle and it's Swampert vs Rikwaza. Rikwaza is giving us a travel. After that, Rikwaza comes with the breaking flight and his dragon claw. The dragon claw damage, everyone knows that he has the highest GPS damage. And here he just absorbs one of my subtle hydro cannon and there is no need to block. We are going to swap to the Valen. Valen can take care of the like version and after the Swampert is going for the Hydro Cannon last time and let's see that Poison decided to block that card with that. It's so interesting. And I think my opponent is fully defended on the right version. Where the Galvin come and he decided to throw Breaking Flight, our attack first and let's see he able to find them before he able to reach the second Breaking Swipe and we did and after that Swampert come and now this Position is good for the Valen because Valen will going to give good amount of damage to the Swampert. Otherwise, he is going to throw a Earthquake and after that, he swept to the Grinkina for the catch. But my opponent sees to that and he also swept to his Gengar. Gengar vs Grinkina is a neck to neck competition. It's a CMP that we are forced to block that charge attack and it's a side over after that. I think this dragon claw is enough to KO the Gengar. Let's see he is going to block. He became going to block and after that here comes the Swampert. There is no need to block Grinkina is bulky Pokemon. He is able to absorb that Grinkina. It's again CMP time. We are unlucky. We didn't able to throw dragon claw and that are great and we can have the dragon claw. Valen is going for the Ascal spell. We are expecting that he is probably going to block that charge attack, but he decided not to block that for we forced to throw back to back to the Ascal spell and now we had him. And after that, we see a block from my opponent. Let's hope to the next battle and so I'm back. This team code breaker is Persalia. It gave a little bit of little bit of travel to me. And but we able to pull it off and if you Probably when the opponent is using the Kravnik on the first, then you need the skill to make win this gameplay and you have to catch uh, that signal first of all. They look here, I just catch uh, 
grass note on the gentina and it is against grass note and after that he is staying with the cresselia which is good for us because if uh, i think which is also probably showing us that the his remaining pokemon is weak against the gentina and we let's see we will to farm down the cresselia or not we digging can after that gentina forced to absorb the charge attack and now we are going for the farm down which is which is his second pokemon and it's a extra gil now gentina is going for the ancient power i am expecting uh, uh which is uh, my attack and make defense rose but it is not happening if my attack and defense rose then the dragon claw give huge amount of damage to the extra gil after the i swear to the hydro cannon but it's a cmp that we forced to block that charge attack and it's a green run that green run is enough to ko him and now swampak is going for the hydro cannon and you have to think that he remaining pokemon is cresselia no sorry cresselia is get done and here the torakis and we are on the advantage because our valorant is going to be super effective on the torakis and ice skull spear it is not going to block that charge attack now probably ancient power and it is the decision time but it's a flame thrower it is not ancient power and that decision time i told you why because if it is ancient power or flame thrower it will going to give good amount of damage probably able to ko the well and my opponent decided to block that axical spell i don't know why and after that he is going to take take down the well and we have little bit of energy that's why we able to reach to hydro cannon before extra gil able to reach to his charge attack that's why we won this game play good game now let's go to the next battle and again we are going to use i am staying with the swampert most of time i just swear switch to swampert to the valium because i given able to get a good advantage or a neutral advantage i am always getting a disadvantage that's why i just swap the position between the swampert and well i am not going to go with the grantina because grantina charge attack is not going to give that much amount of damage here the rayquaza can be swapped to the valium and now the rayquaza probably going to throw breaking swap but you have to note that rayquaza also have have a uh, ancient power charge attack which will going to give a good amount of damage to the villain here my opponent decided not to block and i just forgot to not to do over charge and the darmitian come and now villain is going for the skull spell leg i am not expecting darmitian to block that charge attack he didn't and we are just collecting and darmitian and here just the dream hyper we able to reach to arctic barely with a one hp and darmitian didn't think that he is arctic and he is no darmitian no that it is i think sorry after that we swap to the grantina and now grantina versus darmitian darmitian probably going to throw a i am expecting a rock slug but he just go for the over hit over hit also a good uh, uh, charge attack and here we just going to use our last hit and here the swampert come and he just swap to the swampert i don't know why and then now grantina is going for the dragon claw or uh, dragon claw it's a cmp tag there is no need to block that charge attack because swampert able also able to put down the swampert as well as the guard metian of his and it's a again a dragon claw after that we just swap to the our swampert and we just go for the after throwing a two or three a mud bomb go for the hydro cannon here the guard metian come and we welcome guard metian with our hydro cannon and we won this game now let's jump to the last pokemon and it is my favorite pokemon here we get a advantage and it's a charizard versus something we see a swap to the obstacle and i just get panic and you can also say say that i just become very happy that's why i just swap to the valor and i need to get a new because during the now also put down the charizard with his ancient power target it's a my fault you should not do that and here the my opponent decided to absorb that uh, I skill is fair. We I am decided not to give any shield on the Valiant and after that Swampert comes Swampert able to reach to Hydro Cannon. Let's see after them probably going to decide to block this charge attack. I know that yeah he decided to block and after that we are also going to take up the our uh, Swampert because we need to get, do that in order to took down the Oxygen we able to go for the overcharge again. It's probably a simple type. 
Galaxy it is the same thing I am not or after this I am not to block on here comes the ball and we are on the ball we are not going to block the charge attack and now it is fully depending 1 HP barely able to reach to our step barely I am on the lucky side and he decided not to go after the music wanted to save a sample for the sacrificial piece but we unable to do that and after that drinkina I will go for back to back the ancient power or no there is no need but there is no need because Valorant HP is low but here I go for the ancient power and he knew that uh, I am going for the ancient power we are going to block and we are going to welcome Chalizaj with our ancient power we are going to farm down the and he's just swear to the now we are able to reach to ancient power and probably we are able to lose this game I think so yeah, we have XS and we can we lose this game play XS close battle but this team is really good you should try it